Physician Assistant here at Azura, and today we're going to be doing Vivace. And Vivace is our microneedling device with the added benefit of radio frequency. And we love this procedure. It's become one of our favorite procedures to perform and very popular amongst all of our patients um, for a few reasons. Uh, main ones being that there's little to no downtime associated with it, minimal to no discomfort during the procedure. We do numb for about 30 to 45 minutes prior to the procedure, so people feel almost no discomfort. And it's also safe to perform on everybody on all skin types. How it works is it treats deeper down into the skin to help stimulate collagen. And collagen can help firm and tighten the skin, while also improving skin texture issues like fine lines and wrinkles, all the way to deeper acne scars. It has insulated needle tips, and they're able to deliver energy at depths of 0.5 millimeters up to 3.5 millimeters, while creating minimal damage to the surface of the skin thereby allowing us to have that minimal downtime that patients love. Also, while we're performing the procedure, there's a diode light that's being delivered into the skin with every pulse. The red is for more rosacea and inflammation, whereas the blue light is more for acne-prone skin. And then at the very end of the procedure, we apply a serum along with a mask that we let sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. All of this will help calm the skin and help accelerate the healing process. So we just finished our treatment. As you can see, she's just a little bit pink in some areas, but that should all calm down relatively quickly. As far as aftercare goes, it's all written out and explained to you, so you don't have to remember it, but the main things are to use like a gentle cleanser today and try to avoid any other products in your skincare line that you may use for at least a day, about 24 hours. Also, try to use any clean makeup brushes if you are going to apply any makeup in a day or so, I would hold up my makeup for about 24 to 48 hours as well. And avoid exercise for 24 to 48 hours too, just because we want to calm down and let any extra heat get into the skin. So no hot tubs, saunas, anything where you're in uh, a lot of heat. And avoiding the sun is really important as well. So for about three days especially, you want to make sure you have a medical grade sunscreen or wear a hat and just avoid the sun as much as possible. You also want to avoid any deep exfoliation or any retinol products for seven to day, 10 days after the procedure as well. Do you have any questions? Just the serum that you The serum, so the serum you can use as much as you like. You can use it once a day, you can use it every few hours, just to kind of help plump up the skin and kind of help with the results. You can use it as often as you like, but it's not mandatory. And I just leave it on. I just it leave it on, absolutely. You don't have to wash it off, it just soaks into the skin, so maybe best to apply it at night. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.